Greetings and thank you for this time and this opportunity to come to you and spend a few moments in God's Word and in prayer with you. We trust that as God's Word is brought to you each and every day, you are encouraged in your faith. This week we are specifically talking about receiving healing through the Word. And each one of us must learn how to receive healing through the Word. You know, sometimes you know, we can feel sickness coming on on our bodies, some sort of a pain or an ache or an ailment or something. And you feel that coming or sometimes, you know, we go to the doctor, the doctor gives us a report. He says, you know, these are the things that are wrong. Okay. The doctor has said they're doing, they're doing their part. We respect that. But what do we do? We go to God's word and we learn how to receive healing through the word. Each one of us must learn how to do that. And we can do that. And there's nothing wrong in getting others to pray for us or lay, get others to lay hands on us or anoint us with oil or there are other, like, many other ways by which God can give, bring healing to us. But this way is something that should become part of our life, that we learn how to receive healing through God's word for ourselves. That's what we want to each one of us to learn how to do. Now, when we think about the ministry of Jesus, of course, his ministry was very powerful. Great multitudes of people came and they were healed. Now, many times we tend to think that, you know, people just came at random to Jesus and he just waved a magic wand and, on them and they were all healed. But that's not true. And you observe very carefully in the Gospels, and I'll read just one verse of scripture from Luke 5, verse 15. This is what we find. It says, The report went around concerning him all the more, and great multitudes came together to hear and to be healed by him of their infirmities. See, Jesus wasn't just a healer. He wasn't just a miracle worker. But he went about preaching and teaching and healing. That means his preaching and teaching preceded his healing and miracles. Here one example, Luke 5.15. The crowds came, but they came to hear and to be healed. They didn't just come to be healed. They came to hear. That means they had to give time to hear the word. Jesus would preach to them. He would teach them. Obviously, he used the Old Testament scriptures. And I can just imagine, he must have reminded them, our God is Jehovah Rapha. He must have reminded them of God turning the bitter waters into sweet. He must have reminded them of uh, God's covenant of healing and so many things. But he taught them and then he ministered to them. So the hearing of the word of God positions us to receive the healing that we need from God. So also today, you take time every day. If you're, you're in need of healing, take time first to hear the word of God. Whether it's by you opening up the Bible and reading the healing verses in the Bible or, you know, today we have audio uh, sermons and so on. So you can hear the word through the audio or a video, whatever form you want. But you hear the word. And as you keep hearing the word and you consistently hear the word, what are you doing? You are bringing God's medicine into your life. The word of God carries healing power. God's healing power is, is in the word. His word is medicine to your whole body. And as you hear the word, you are positioning yourself to receive healing from God. And that word will work and produce in our lives. So in order to receive healing, take time to hear the word of God. Keep hearing it. Keep hearing the healing scriptures, the healing word of God. You will receive your healing. Let's pray. Father, we ask that you would enable us to hear the word, receive your healing word, knowing that your word is healing to our whole body. In Jesus' name, amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.